Hey guys, Jonathan here, and welcome back to Functional Fitness. And just to keep everything real, because i um, always going to be down to earth with you guys, I honestly did not feel like working out today, and I came really close to bagging today's workout, because this is my first day back to work uh, in a little over a week, and uh, I was definitely not feeling it during my shift. I, I work a very physical job on top of uh, hitting the weights after work. So, uh, but yeah, so a while back, I did a video on the Zercher squats with the Zercher squat bar. And I'm gonna turn the camera around so you can take a look. Let me pull this thing out of the corner here so you can see what I'm talking about. If you recall this, very unique bar. I actually really enjoyed using it, but I had a bit of a mishap. Uh, I'm going to say like three weeks ago or a month ago. The problem is the, um, the collars that I'm using to, to lock down the weights on that is this right here. Now, this is a very inexpensive collar, even though it's metal. Uh, I bought it. Uh, maybe used, I can't remember, but it was at, I bought it from Played Against Sports years ago with a dumbbell set, and uh, I've been using it on my barbells. Now, on traditional barbells, even though this isn't a traditional barbell, this is the Elite FTS cambered squat bar, but on a, on a bar where it's horizontal, this does just fine, because all it does is hold the weights in place. However, on the Zercher, on the Watson Zercher squat bar, when you go to lift this up, it wants to lean forward, so it's applying a lot of pressure to that collar. And this collar is not designed to withstand that type of pressure. And I do know what kind of collar I need, but it it's going to cost me 90 to $100. So another light bulb went off in my head, and I thought, what can I do in the meantime? Because I wanted to keep doing my Zercher squats, but I didn't want to risk dumping plates on my feet because I was very fortunate that uh, this was the second time this ever happened to me. The last time it happened was years ago where the plates dumped off the end of the Zercher squat bar and I was fortunate that the plates didn't land on my feet. So um, so what? I, so I was thinking to myself, all right, what am I going to do? And then I'm like, wait a second, maybe I can use the Elite FTS cambered squat bar to do zercher squats and i thought well pff, i was doing i was using it for overhead pressing i did experiment with bench pressing but I'll, although i don't really care for it with bench pressing um so i was like well let me let me try doing zercher squats with it and uh i even did a search on youtube and there was really there was literally only one video i found where people were where this one lady was doing zercher squats with the elite fts cambered squat bar so i thought wow that's cool so i'm not completely crazy there's at least one other person out there doing this and let me tell you really quick before we get started this exercise is extremely humbling see the the interesting thing is every time you do an exercise and you do it, and it's implemented differently. Like, for example, with the Zercher squat bar, the weight is directly out in front of you. So it feels very different than, say, uh, Zercher, um, Zercher deadlifts or Zercher squats with a standard Olympic barbell. Now, introducing the Elite FTS cambered squat bar, where the weight is... Basically, it's you have the bar, like this part here is what's going to sit in the crook of your elbow, but then you have the weights down here off to the side. And let me tell you, this is very humbling. I, I, I just couldn't believe, like I got my butt kicked. I had to, to lower the weight substantially when I first started this about three weeks ago because I was just like, in shock with how hard it was. But anyways, I'm going to do a demonstration of this. This is 235 pounds. This, uh, this bar is loaded to 235 pounds right now, and uh, take note that this bar weighs 65 pounds. So this is 235. I'm going to be doing two sets of five. So 
let's me let me get the camera set up on the tripod and uh yeah we're gonna get started uh <clears throat> before i get started i just want to say that um yes i only do two sets my my workout is extremely modified um i just don't feel that it's necessary to do more than two sets but anyways th uh, if you have any questions or comments about the routines I do, just leave them down in, in the comment section and I'll be happy to get back to you on that. All right, let's get started. The first set is done. I'm taking a little breather. I usually rest for about five to six minutes in between these sets because they're heavy sets. Um, but yeah, I'm not in this video. I'm not going to be including my whole workout for today. I just wanted to showcase the Zercher squat slash deadlift, whatever you want to call it, with the Elite FTS cambered squat bar. The reason why I say uh, <clears throat> Zercher squat slash deadlift is because the lady I saw in the video I've seen of her using this bar to do the Zercher squats, she was actually doing deadlifts with them. She was sitting the bar down on the ground before lifting the next repetition. So I, I prefer to keep it more of a squat, but that's really, uh, that's all preference. So uh, yeah, let's get back to it. Okay, so that concludes the Zercher squat deadlift portion of my workout. And uh, I gotta say, like, I totally recommend this exercise, especially if you have the Elite FTS Cambridge squat bar. It will hit you like never before. Like, as you can see in the video, the range of motion that you can get with this bar. There's not many alternatives to back squats that I've ever done where it really hits your legs like this does. But the beauty part is the Elite FTS, the Elite FTS squat bar hits your back. To, it hammers your back. It hammers your upper back and your lower back and your legs all at the same time. It's really a beautiful thing. Um, so, yeah, like I said, though... Uh, if you do approach this, really be uh, be prepared that this will humble you. Start light, keep the weights modest until you get used to it because this is going to feel a little bit awkward at first. And it all it all comes down to weight distribution because the weight is distri distributed differently than say like a standard bar. It just feels different. Anyways, that's the Zercher squat with the Elite FTS bar. Uh, yeah. Have at it and enjoy, and I'll catch you guys later. <laughs> 